All right, we're getting ready to open up this hive. It's a very nasty tempered hive. It's an Africanized colony. And we removed the queen about four days ago. We're going to try to introduce a new Saskatrass queen today. So we'll see what kind of a temperament these bees are in here today. So we're going to remove the medium super here to get down in the brood box where we're pretty sure the queen is. Okay, so we put the uh, queen cage with the new queen up here and we're just going to watch the bees come up see what their reaction is to this queen. Alright, so this cage with the queen, the new queen, has been on here for a couple minutes. Quite a number of bees on the cage, but I'm not seeing them being aggressive. A lot of bees down here, which I think is the, yeah, that's the candy in. And we're just going to set it up like that. Watch the bees' behavior. So, I'm not seeing any bees like hunched over like they're trying to sting the queen or even the attendant bees inside this cage. That's a good sign. And uh, as you can probably tell, you shouldn't be able to see that either. The bees are just kind of acting normal. They're not acting aggressive toward this queen. There are some bees doing a little fanning here. Now before we actually put this in the uh, colony, I want to pull out a couple frames and just look for any eggs and we're just going to remove this queen cage. All right, we're just going to uh, give this goes a little bit of smoke. We're just going to pull out a couple frames here from the center. Take a look at them, see if we can see any queens. Now this colony has been queenless for the last four days, so theoretically we should not see any eggs in this colony or even real young larvae. Okay, I got lots of nectar, some sealed brood, lots of workers, a few drones. Now we do have some larvae over here on this side. But um, not seeing any eggs, which we wouldn't expect to see eggs. If indeed this colony is completely queenless, which it should have been for the last, uh, by now, the four days ago when we took, found the queen and took her out. And they started a uh, queen cell here. Had some royal jelly in it, so we just destroyed that. I think we might go through here and I see some very young larvae in here but not so young that they could produce a queen. Much older larva here, seal brood, 
got a couple of queen cells up here. We're going to destroy those. They both have something in them. So I think we're going to go through each uh, frame in here. Look for queen cells. And if we find any, we'll destroy them. So this new queen will not not have any rivals where the colony could decide to. Oh, we've got some more uh, queen cells here. They're sealed. any queen cells. That could make the uh, colony not accept this new queen. So we're going to go through each and every frame here, making sure there are no other queen cells. So we're looking very carefully for any other queen cells that could be on any of these frames. This is mostly pollen, honey, new nectar. Okay, I think we're going to uh, bring the queen cage back up here. And there's our queen cage with the Saskatoon trash queen. They're checking out the queens. Probably the attendant bees in here too. I got a good number of bees on there, but they're not showing any kind of aggressive behavior toward the queen. So I think what we're going to do now is go over on the candy end, try to remove this cork. Got the cork out. So we got most of the cork out, just the candy in now. And we'll lower this in between a couple of frames right in the middle here of the brood box. So the bees can make their way into this queen and get her released. And we've got it slanted a little bit in the up position. So uh, the screen top is such that uh, the bees can have access to this queen, take care of her feeder, get her released. Now let's see if I can get this last frame in here. Now we're going to spritz this colony really good with some one-to-one -one sugar water with a little bit of honeybee healthy. Especially where the queen cage is. This will give the bees I don't know, I kind of call it a welcome to new queen. And it gives them something to do to lick up all the sugar water. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the uh, medium super back on here. Give these girls a little bit of smoke. Ready to put the hide back together. We're going to go ahead and put our inner cover back on here, take the bees off and into here. Quite a few here. A little smoke to drive them down. And as you can see, and probably at least here, there are hundreds and hundreds of bees, angry bees buzzing around me and everything. But we'll come back here in about four days. 
see that this queen has, if she's been released. It's just blowing a little bit of smoke around some of the bees that are hanging around the outside. All right, I think we're ready to put the top on. And hopefully that queen will be fine. I saw signs that the colony was going to accept her. Anything bad behavior, nasty behavior, anything like that. So hopefully, in uh, maybe four to six weeks, I'm going to give him a little spritzing of sugar water here. Anyway, hopefully, four to six weeks, providing they accept this queen, the Saskatrass queen, we should see the temperament of these bees gradually get to be very nice. Not like this. So I think that's it. So we're going to leave these girls alone. Let them settle in. And uh, just keep an eye on them for a couple of days. So like I said, in about four days, we'll come out and open this colony back up and check to see if the queen has been released from the queen cage and she's been accepted by the colony. I think she will be. So that's all for today from the Honig Trail here.